term fake news has become part of everyday conversation, leaving many people unsure of how to separate fact from fiction, and that can be particularly damaging when it comes to elections. 13 News reporter Renee Romo joining us live in studio. And Renee, you spoke with a couple of experts on combating election misinformation. Do they have an idea of what is causing the spread? Well, Dan, it's important to understand that misinformation and disinformation can be found anywhere. However, an expert from PolitiFact blames most of this trend on social media. PolitiFact chief correspondent Lewis Jacobson says the number of fact checks the website has done over the years continues to increase as it continues to become central to politics. And the viral nature of many of the claims makes it hard to check every single one. It does make our lives uh, a little more difficult um, because, uh, uh, you know, it just works much faster than we do. Jacobson went on to explain their fact checking is focused on claims that may have gone viral or topics of importance that can impact the most people, which is why they focus on the election as a whole. PolitiFact was given a grant to cover around eight Senate races across the country, and Arizona's race is on that short list. Gina Woodall, a professor at Arizona State University's School of Politics and Global Studies, stressed how detrimental the spread of mis- and disinformation can be for Arizona. I mean, it could be incredibly damaging, um, not only for individuals, but just for, you know, kind of the, the national reputation of, of Arizona. Woodall went on to give an example of how dangerous election mis- and disinformation can be with threats, verbal and physical, that were made to election workers across the state. Pima County Elections Director Constance Hargrove said in a statement to 13 News that misinformation can cause fear and confusion for so many voters and lead them to not vote. Meanwhile, disinformation can add anger, which can create a dangerous environment for election administrators. That is not a good thing when you talk about the health of our you know, small d democracy overall. That's a very scary thing. And when people study democratization for a living and they're nervous, we should all be nervous. Both Woodall and Jacobson made it clear media literacy is more important now than ever. My personal go-to is the SIFT method. Stop, investigate the claim, find other sources, and trace the claim back to its original context. Live in studio, Renee Romo, 13 News.